Welcome everyone and thank you for joining us for this month's webinar. Today we're going to be discussing Impulse, our outdoor line of lighting solutions. And here to speak on that is Steve Entrican, our Director for Outdoor Product Management. And with that, we'll get started. Steve? Thank you. Good afternoon. I hope everybody's having a good day. Hope you've recovered from Thanksgiving. Today we're going to talk about Impulse which is a line that was recently introduced. It's basically an architectural oriented line, so it's going to be stepping up a little bit more from your standard commodity uh, stock and flow type products. Uh, today we're going to talk about the family as a whole. We're going to talk about some features that are unique to the family. We're going to go through each of the families in this product line. And then at the end, we'll let you know where you can get additional information. At any point in time during this presentation, please feel free to ask questions. I think you can type those in. Is that right? Yes, um, that's correct. And we'll see the questions, and I'll take it from there. So let's go ahead and get started. So what is Impulse exactly? Well, as I had mentioned earlier, and many of you may know this already, it's a comprehensive architectural lighting solution. There are some standard features to this product line that you can count on across the board. As I mentioned, it's stepping up a little bit more from your general purpose type products. So everything is DLC premium. Now there are a couple of exceptions there when we talk about visual comfort and when we talk about the bollard. But in general, your standard products should all be DLC premium. Another feature is IP66 rating. A lot of times IP65 is kind of the standard for outdoor. Here, everything is IP66. Everything has a surge protector. We have at least a 10 KA KV surge protector. And standard with this product is a 10-year warranty. Now, obviously, the 10-year warranty applies to being on for 12 hours, uh, not 24 hours. You can still register and see if we can do a 10-year warranty on 24 hours. But a basic 12-hour burn application, we will do 10-year warranty standard. We have 4,000 and 5,000 K and we offer two different finishes, basically a light finish and a dark finish. In this case, it's our bronze or our silver. And when you're looking for silver, you may not see in our system the exact item you're looking for. What we do is we stock something in silver that we can modify to what you need. So we should have silver for something that you're looking for. So above and beyond that, this product line offers a wide range of options in terms of distributions and wattages. And the other thing, and the way you would want to position this, is it's very price competitive. So here we are stepping up into some of the top tier type product categories, and we're offering a value solution. We're going to be very cost competitive. We're also in a very strong stocking position. Just bear in mind, because there's so many options and variations, we may have to modify something. It may take a week or so to do, but in general, we should have stock on anything that we can get to you either right away or within a week using our assembly team. The other thing in this current climate with the tariffs, all of these products are tariff free, so they are not coming from China. So I think we're going to see a lot of price increases happening first part of next year. Um, I would mention that in Impulse, we just recently did a massive price decrease, and that was on the wall mount and the canopy fixtures. So we are going to be even more competitive with this product line. So that being said, we'll jump into one of the unique features about Impulse, one that generates a lot of excitement Many of you have probably seen this before or seen it at Light Fair. It's visual comfort. And we offer this visual comfort option in our smaller wattage fixtures. Basically, your wall mount, your canopy garage, and your flood fixtures will have it in the 28 and the 55 watt versions. We will soon be coming out with the bollard, and it is standard in the bollard. And what's going on here is when LEDs first came out, everybody got really excited about the technology and what you can do versus HID. So what LEDs would allow you to do is be very surgical in your photometrics. 
you could put a TIR optic over it, total internal reflectance. That basically means you capture 100% of the light coming out of the LED and you direct it exactly where you want it to go so that you can use far less lumens and do a much better job of lighting. And everybody was excited about that. Well, as we started deploying these products, we found out that it wasn't the friendliest for the humans in the space. You started having glare issues and, and complaints about these type of things because of the precision and the angles you were sending the light at. So visual comfort is an attempt to address this issue. The first attempts were kind of a knee-jerk reaction of putting a frosted lens, and yes, that certainly took away the glare. The problem is that you lost, say, 15, maybe 20% of your light. And in a DLC world, that was not good because they want efficiency and you no longer could get rebates. You also lost the ability to control your light patterns. So visual comfort tries to accomplish the same thing where it's taking away a lot of the glare. The technology is more than just putting a frosted lens over your fixture. It actually involves having different types of LEDs that are arranged very specifically to what you're wanting to do and having a special lens that actually amplifies your light as it comes out. So this is what the technology is. It minimizes the losses. What it means for DLC is you go from a premium DLC product to a DLC standard. So that's pretty cool that you're able to do that. You eliminate the glare. You eliminate another complaint about bug eyes or pixelation. And the end result is a very soft, uniform distribution. And in many cases, that may actually be what's desired. If you're looking at a nice facade type lighting application with a flood, you can't do any better than a nice visual comfort optic. So this entire technology and this capability is something unique to the impulse line. So moving on, we'll look at what are the families that we offer and are going to be offering for this product. Area products are one of the first ones that came out. We also have a wall mount, a canopy garage. Most recently in October, we launched a flood. And coming very soon, in early 2019, we will have a high output flood and we will have a bollard. And that's going to complete the package. Zeroing in on the area fixtures, there are basically three sizes. You can see there are five different wattages, five different outputs. As I mentioned earlier, a lot of options. In the case of distributions, there's at least four different distributions here. We have a lot of mounting options. We can do a straight arm, a, a slip fitter, trunnion, and then the, all of the standard features that the family offers. Uh, for the area, we also have you know, your photo cells, your motion sensors. We have a high voltage capability. And since it uses a twist lock photo receptacle, we can do the seven pen, which will allow some of these control modules that are out there now. The driver in there is dimming standard, zero to 10 volts. Moving to the next family, we have the impulse wall mount. This is a very slick design, very small and flexible. We put a lot of effort into making it easy to install. So you'll see one of the pictures indicates a hinged plate that you mount that will hold the fixture in place so that one person can do all the wiring and set it up. It also has the ability to tilt the optics. This is in a stepped capability, so you can have it at zero degrees where it's at full cutoff, or you can step it to 15, 30, and 45 degrees. There are type three and type four distributions, which are the standard, most common ones that you have for wall fixtures. And this one has a visual comfort capability on the smaller sizes, the 28 and the 55 watt. A full range of options here, photo cells, motion sensors, controls. You also have high voltage. And coming soon in early 2019, roughly the same time as the other high output flood and the bollard will be a battery backup capability with this product family. One thing I'd point out is on the DLC, if you do use a visual comfort, you drop down to standard, but you are still DLC. Moving to the canopy in the garage, 
again, you see a, a lot of effort was put into making this very compact and easy to handle and easy to install. There's a hinge plate on this as well, so one person can install it and you can do all your wiring without needing somebody to hold the fixture for you. This one comes in the same lower wattages as some of the other products, the 28 watt and the 55 watt. In this case, the entire family has the capability of having visual comfort. You also have three other photometric choices. You have a canopy, a parking, and an asymmetric pattern. And then, of course, the visual comfort, which we have talked about. Options such as photo cells, motion sensors, high voltage, and we have a battery backup in this. And, of course, all the standard features that we talked about available in this family. Moving on to the next family is going to be the newest addition to the Impulse line. This is the Impulse Floods. These were just launched in October. We have them in stock, ready to go. We have four different outputs, two different sizes. We have a 28 watt and a 55 watt, just like what you saw on the wall mount and the canopy. And then we have a 100 watt and a 130 watt, which is in a little bit larger size. Now one comment on the 100 watt, we do not stock any of the 100 watts, but what we do is we take a 130 watt and we will switch out the driver. So if you're looking in the system, don't freak out. We can get the 100 watts very quickly. My understanding is assembly is able to do this in a week or less. So that's just what you're going to see in the system. The 130 watt, it really is for applications of a 400 watt metal halide which was the mother load of volume in the old days so if you've got people talking about 400 watt metal halide you want to be looking at the 130 watt impulse flood there are about four different beam spreads on these five if you include visual comfort so going back to that comment about a lot of options here we have a nice narrow one we have a medium one we have a wide one. We also have a rectangular shaped one. So if you're trying to light something like a sign or a facade or something, we actually have a pattern that does that for you. And then the smaller sizes, the 28 and the 55 watt, are gonna have a visual comfort. We have your standard flood mounting, a trunnion. In the smaller sizes, it's gonna include a half inch threaded nipple to go onto a lot of the boxes that are out there for these type of fixtures. You have a slip fitter to go over bullhorns and various things out there. We also have the ability to mount this on adjustable wall mount. And there seems to be a lot of interest and noise about people wanting to point wall fixtures up and light in an upward position. This product would be the product to do that with. You could use the adjustable wall mount and one of the floods and you have the ability to do up lighting in an outdoor application. These come from, with photo shells. We actually have the ability to do a motion sensor. We also can do the high voltage drivers if you need those. To point out on the motion sensors, not too many people have solutions with motion sensors and floodlights. So that might be an angle you can take to tout this product and win some jobs. There are a lot of accessories for this. We have some side visors. We have a top and bottom visors. We have vandal shields. And we also have louvers, which like a honeycomb louver. So if unique situations happen at the application where they build something that wasn't there before and now you've got glare problems, we do have some accessories to help you address that, that situation. So I would encourage you to take a look at it on the, on the website. It's brand new, just came out in October, very versatile product, a lot of options for you. So now we'll move on to the last remaining product families to complete this line. The Impulse High Output Flood is being tooled about now, and we hope to have it uh, very early in uh, 2019. This is going to feature the same lenses that you have on the floods that we just talked about, so those same four patterns. This one's going to be geared towards very large areas, large parking lots, uh, large fields, yards, maybe docking yards. Also, you should have the capability to spill over into recreational sports lighting, some of the smaller sports lighting type opportunities. 
it's going to go all the way up to 85,000 lumens. So now we're truly hitting a 1,500 watt HID type performance. It has all the other features you would expect, DLC Premium and IP66. It's going to have photo cell. They have two kinds of mounting, a slip fitter and a trunnion. And we're trying to get this thing out as fast as we can. So look for announcements early next year. We're really excited about this one. We think the, we've got a real winner on this one. It is also going to have some visors and things like that. The other one that is actually being built and loaded and uh, should be here a little bit sooner is going to be the bollard. And this one's pretty straightforward. It's a 42-inch tall bollard. It replicates and looks like all the other products in the family and its form factor. And you're going to have two different wattage options. And uh, visual comfort is the only distribution that we have in this one, and that's standard. And again, with bollards, you're really not doing a tremendous amount of photometrics. You're more or less marking a path, and this thing does that beautifully. And it will help you complete a package or a campus or a site. There's a question that came out about the bullet floods. Uh, yes, originally bullet floods were part of the original intent of this product family. At this time, we're holding back on the bullet floods. It remains to be seen if we get enough traction with the family as a whole, then we will move forward with the bullets. But right now, we decided to focus our energies on getting the products out faster, and we're holding back on the bullet. So it, it may come in the future. It, it may not. Moving on to the next slide, we've got the resources for Impulse. Where can you find information? We have a dedicated microsite, which I would encourage you to look at. Uh, we have the data sheets and the brochure, and we also have videos, one on how to install the wall mount, and then one that has an overview of the product family. So all of this is on our website. You can find it through the MaxLite website, obviously. All the information that, that you would need, and if not, please call us and let us know what we can do to help. I would encourage you to uh, get samples or ask us for samples. We'd be more than glad to support you in that way. Again, we have a lot of stock of this product, a lot of good things going on, and we're almost done with completing the entire product line. So hopefully you'll find a lot of good opportunities with it, especially in this current climate of tariffs, which are not going to impact any of these products. So that being said, if there are any other questions, we'll give a moment to type in some questions. We've got a nice positive comment there about a success story with the area lights. Thank you, Craig. And that being said, I hope everybody has a great, great time. Feel free to reach out to myself. I would mention Lynn is also a product manager for Outdoor, and she actually is the one responsible for the high output flood and the bollard. And then SOD is also on our team, and we have a policy of doesn't matter what our specialty is in outdoor, you just give us a call, we will get it done, get you answers, samples, whatever it is that you need. So I uh, encourage you to give us a call, let us know how we can help you, and we appreciate your interest, and I hope everybody has a good weekend coming up. Thanks, Steve. I'd just like to take a minute to remind everyone about Maxlight University. Maxlight University is our comprehensive training program on lighting fundamentals. It ranges from beginner to advanced, and it's free, eligible for continuing education units from the American Lighting Association. Just visit maxlightuniversity.com for more information. Finally, I wanted to mention that you can subscribe to Maxlight's email communications at the link below. This way you stay up to date on all the latest from our Max Light Minute newsletter, product announcements, press releases, and webinars like this one. Thanks again for joining us today. If you have any further questions about any of the materials shown in today's presentation, please feel free to type them right in the chat box. I'll also say that a PDF and video recording of today's session will also be emailed to you later today. Thanks again for joining and have a great day.